Hello everybody, welcome to Career Ride. One of the biggest challenges that most of the students face while preparing for quantitative aptitude is just too many formulas to remember. And this got proved once again when you commented on this post of mine because many of you mentioned too many formulas to remember. And it's absolutely true. Without a clear strategy, all those formulas can really start to feel overwhelming. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some tricks and some wisdom to help you deal with this challenge. And by the time we get over with this video, you'll notice a remarkable shift in the way you were thinking about this challenge altogether. So disconnect yourself from everything for the next five minutes and pay full attention to what I am saying here. And the first thing that you have to make the mantra of your life is don't memorize the formulas. Understand the concept behind them. See, there are approximately 33 chapters in QA. Even if each chapter has got just three formulas, it becomes 99 formulas. Now think yourself, is it really possible to remember them? Definitely not. So what's the solution? The solution is simple. Don't try to memorize them at all. Focus on understanding them. In reality, there are only some formulas that you need to learn. Rest all is concept. If you find yourself memorizing a formula, it usually means one thing and it is your concept is not clear. So work on your concept. If you see the quantitative aptitude videos from career ride, you would notice that we always try to make you understand the formulas rather than asking you to just learn them. Only a few formulas really need to be remembered. The rest will come naturally once you understand the logic behind them. Then identify high value formulas. Every chapter has only 2-3 formulas that cover most of the questions. Learn the difference between must know and good to know formulas. This would reduce the overwhelm instantly. This simple filter helps you focus on what truly matters in the exam. Then use the formula. Once you learn a formula, don't just read it, use it. Practice is the best way to make it stick with you. When you solve the questions using a formula, your brain automatically stores it as understood, not memorized. In addition to this, maintain a formula sheet. Put all the important formulas on one sheet. What this will do is, it will work as your own mini formula map. The tip that I would provide you here is don't separate the formulas by chapters too much. Club related topics together. This makes your job easier. For example, percentages, profit and loss, then simple interest, compound interest, all of this is one family. Time, speed, distance, this is another. When you do this, you start seeing the connections instead of isolated formulas. Here's a very effective grouping of chapters that I provide to every batch before they start preparing for their QA section. You will find the grouping and detailed instructions in a post on the channel. The link is provided in the description box below. This grouping of chapters will give you a base to group your formulas also. And lastly, revise smartly, not repeatedly. Instead of reading the same list over and over, test yourself. Cover the right side of the sheet and try recalling the formulas. Use quick 5 minute formula recall breaks between the topics. Remember, active recall is always better than passive rereading. It gives you better results any time. When you set up a 15 minute formula revision slot weekly, this lets your subconscious mind take over and you are able to remember the things without any big efforts. Consistent micro revision is always better than last minute panic. So see, your goal is not to remember 100 formulas. It is to understand 10 ideas that create 100 formulas out of them. You will find a practical implementation of everything that I have told you here in quantitative aptitude videos from Career Ride. The link to the playlist is also available in the description box below. Do take a look. You have also asked me to help you deal with the challenges related to accuracy and time management in quantitative aptitude. So I'll get you videos on 
those topics also very soon. To ensure that you receive them, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. If there are any other challenges that you need help with, please do mention them in the comments box below. I will try to create some content around them as well. And if you have found today's video useful, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends also. See you very soon. Till then, bye bye and take care.